So hello guys, welcome to my channel again at Nenera. I'm just going to quickly introduce myself and introduce the topic we'll be talking about today. So my name is Lillian. I'm a registered nurse here in the UK. I've been for a while. So today we'll be talking about house buying. House buying. This is what we'll be talking about today. You know, I've heard a lot of people say, oh, we bought a house within our first year. You need to open a Lisa account. You need to open a this, this account. You need to do that. You need to do that. But most times, um, I hardly find somewhere that, you know, somebody tells you really what you need to do and how you need to do it. So today, I mean, house buying is the end thing now in the UK. Who doesn't know that house buying is good? I mean, it is. I mean, what, one of the best things you can do for yourself is to buy a house. So now, mind you, um, depending, for some people, this might be a short-term uh, thing. And for some, it might take a bit longer, okay? Remember not to rush yourself, like, you know, take your time at your own time, okay? So now, however, for some, for people who may have a long shelf, there are people that might be here within a, a year and a half, 16, 17 months, they're already making moves to buy a house. Some people would have bought, depending, all depends on what they do, really. Like a doctor, doctor, um, husband and wife can afford to do this even in a year. Okay, because uh, uh, let's say a tech, a, a tech person and a doctor, um, husband and wife can do this. A nurse, nurse, uh, family can do this. A, a you know, a HCA, HCA husband and wife can also do this if they haven't got children yet or if they even have one. But that is not my point today. My point is to assess your situation and then make a plan on when you want to do this okay now one of the mistake i made was when i had when we even had the deposit to buy you know we had this plan of oh we're going to move to us we don't need to buy a house even the bank called me and said don't you think you should buy a house with just the money you've got in your account i was like oh no don't worry um, i'm going to us i'm not staying here permanently let's say in a year and a half i should be off to us and they said oh okay that's fine if that's your plan so do not miss out on opportunities of today because we're making plans for tomorrow. So the best thing is, if you can, start the process of trying to buy a house. If you move by the time you do this, yes, that's fine. I mean, you can always use the money anyways. It's not like you can, you know, let's say you you know saved up 15000 and then all of a sudden you're moving to the U.S. Your visa is up. Use the 15000 and invest. You can even use it to travel and, you know, buy a house as soon as you get into the U.S., you never know. But you need to start that process today, okay? So first off, one of the process, the first process you even need to do about, and buying a house, sorry about that, is starting to save, okay? Starting to save. It doesn't matter if you're seven hundred pound a month or two hundred pound a month. It does not matter. What matters is at least every month you have something you know carved out for house buying. Now, one of the ways you can do this and still get benefits from the government is opening a Lisa account, which is what I'll be talking today. I mean, initially I've had Lisa account like ages ago. And they say, oh, you need to open a Lisa account. But which banks were offering this? Now, um, this information I've got was applicable to me. Hopefully, I'll get to show you how I opened a Lisa account. And guess where I got the information from? I got it from one of my patients. That is because one thing I enjoy about it, just copying it is like, is, you know, you're, you're speaking with people who are purpose-mentored, you know, people who are at different stages of their life. You have young people, you have elderly, you have middle-aged men and women coming into the unit. So we do tend to interact a lot. So I got an idea of how to open this Lisa account from a patient. So... Moving ahead now, the the you know buying a house is in stages. Number one, you've got to have the deposit. Number two, before even you complete the deposit, you're supposed to already know, probably get a decision in principle 
or mortgage calculator, you know, it, it is a process whereby, you know, you go online and even put in your income, your expenses and all, and that gives you a rough idea of how much you can borrow, you know, to, to get a house. I'm going to do that. I don't know if I can do it today because if I do it, this video is going to be extremely long. But however, I'm going to focus on opening a Lisa account today. And then if hopefully I may get to show you my own account and how I got to get a thousand pounds from the government between for saving like four thousand uh, pounds between um, last year and this year of uh, April 5th of 2023. So for that, I got paid an extra £1,000. So quickly, now let me just quickly um, tell you about the benefits of this Lisa account. Now, Lisa account is a lifetime um, savings account that basically, um, if you're using it to buy um, in your first home, then you, you know, you'll be getting like, let's say you save up to, you know, if once you hit that target of 4,000 pounds every day, the government gives you a thousand pounds to add to the money that you'll be using to buy your house. So I managed to save that amount and I got 1,000 pounds. So from 4,000, my uh, money moved to 5,000. Now for somebody who is a high earner, this may not make a lot of a difference. I mean, but getting 1,000 from the government, especially when you're on the tier two visa and you're not even entitled to public funds. Mind you, this is among the public funds. This is just government money, free money that is being given to you um, to, you know, put towards your first house. Now, the second thing, let's say you're a couple. One other thing is this, before you can open a Lisa account, you have to be under 40 you wouldn't be above 40. If you are above 40 years, then you will not be able to open this account. So let's say you and your spouse or partner or wife or husband is under 40 or just at the 40 age and you open this Lisa account and both of you, let's say your wife saves up to 4,000 pounds and you save up to 4,000 pounds, that is you getting 2,000 pounds free money towards your first home in one year. So you, your wife, can open a, a, a Lisa account and you, your husband, can open this account and you now make efforts. Now, you know, check how, I know it's really tough when you have children. It may be really tough, you know, you guys might just be getting back. But if you make a plan, you should be able to save this amount every year. And that is you, both, both of you getting like 1,000 each, that is 2,000 combined every year towards your um. Um, house buying scheme, which is a first time for only for first time buyers, not for people who want to buy to rent. Okay, so basically, let's say both of you save four four thousand in a year, and you know, and that is extra two thousand. That is eight thousand together. Again, your one thousand, one thousand. That is ten thousand in one day towards your first home. So, I mean, that is amazing, okay? So, um, and then another thing with this, let's just say you don't meet up with this company. I, I don't know how every other company works or every other um, investor you know, platform works, but this one, let's say you pay in 500 between the first of now to the fifth, they will give you the um, amount accrued for that 500. That means they contact HMRC and HMRC, if it's 50 pound that is, um, that you get for saving up to that 500 in that month, you get it immediately, okay? You don't have to wait till it's complete 4,000. This 1,000, they pay it instrumentally according to the amount you save. So even if you don't get to meet up 4,000, and um, by the end of the year, which always ends at 5th April of every year, it means that no matter the amount you've saved, you still get that benefit in your account, okay? So let's say you saved up to like 3,000. I think you'll be getting about 750 pounds because for every 500 pound, it's, um, is it 50 or so? I'm not sure if you calculate that. So basically, that's what you'll be getting. Okay, and then um, moving around, moving ahead, what else did I want to say? Now, if you have plans of buying a house within next year, 
let's say you start, you open this account today and you have plans of buying a house, uh, let's say in January, then you won't be able to withdraw this money because they need this account to run for one full year. Remember, when you open this account, you don't need to use it for any investment because oftentimes they'll send you an email if you need to invest, if you need to, you know. I mean, this is not a financial advice. It depends on what you want to do, but I'm just telling you the benefits of opening a Lisa account. So they need this account to run for one full year or the government will tax you 25% from the total savings if you withdraw this account within a year. If you withdraw money from this account within a year, whether it's towards house buying or whatever, that's 25%. So you may be getting less than you've put in if you withdraw this money. So, but if you have a long-term plan, let's say you, you start this year, April, and you're making plans to, you know, to get a house, um, next April, yeah, and that's fine. Because if you open this account on the April of 30th of this year, by March of 30th, this account is mature enough for you to use it as a deposit for your first house. Remember, the money in this account will be paid directly to, the, you know, it won't be given to you. I think it's, it will be paid directly to whoever that is offering you mortgage or whoever that is selling or the agent or whoever, I don't know. Well, it's not like you're going to get this amount um, into your bank account. And now for this Lisa account also, you can use it as a lifetime savings account and you can only withdraw from uh, when you're 60, okay? So let's say you decide to open this account and you, you know, planning for your retirement. I mean, let's say you're 40. Let's even press calculator. I'm just going to use calculator and press this. Let's say I've hit 40 this year, I've got a house, you know, I have I might have a little bit of other investment, and I decide to start saving for my um for retirement. Let's say 40, I'm looking at withdrawing this money at 60, and I'm saving, let's say I'm saving four thousand pounds every year, and I'm already 40, that is four thousand pounds in 20 years. So I'm just gonna calculate four thousand times 20. That would be you having. 80,000 pounds in 20 years. That is if you don't invest at all or anything of that sort. Now, remember the value of money decreases, okay? I mean, with inflation and everything, 80,000 pounds then, maybe 70,000 pounds right now, you know, 80,000 pounds now, maybe 70,000 pounds then, or 60,000 pounds. So it's always good. It's not a financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor, but I'm not even going to talk about this. But however, I'm telling you what this Lisa um, account involves. So it's either you're opening it for your first home, to use it to buy your first home, or you'll be opening it as a retirement savings plan and you'll be withdrawing it at the age of 60. So moving ahead, I'm just going to show you how I opened my Lisa account. And I'm going to show you, um, I don't know if I were able to log in because I don't know, I don't think I'll feel comfortable um, logging into my account, you know, well, you know, to show you, but I was showing you on my app because I managed to save 4,000 and at the moment, my money is 5K. So I received, and I saved this money in bits. And each month, I'll receive like a message telling me, okay, you've received your bonus for your Lisa account. Okay, so let's get to it. I'm just gonna share my screen now. And just don't, don't you know, I mean, this company, when I got this information from this patient, apparently this man works in this company. So I was asking him about investment advice, you know, looking to buy a home and all that. He said, oh, you can open in my company. He wasn't advertising or anything. He told me some other company, but I chose his because, he, you know, he, he looks like he, he was a reputable man. And when I went online, I read about them. Um, they, you know, I, I, I got information and all that. And... It was, you know, it was good, so I opened. And remember, for this Lisa account, remember that the government gives you, um, like, savings. You can save up to £20,000 each year without it being taxed. Because when you leave your money in the bank and you're saving and saving and saving, at some point you might be taxed for the amount you save. 
But when you open this kind of um, account and you save up to £20,000, that is a tax-free money that you've saved up for, uh, for the year. So moving ahead now, I'm just going to say share screen. Oh, I have so many things going on. So I'm just going to share the screen. Oh, this is me watching my previous video. And I'm going to reduce myself. Yeah. Go on there. And that will be the name of the company is Hargreaves. Uh, it should be uh, it should be hard grips hard grips oh, there's a oh, that's hard grips lands down hard grips lands down so I'm just gonna log in there uh, it's an investment company actually but they also do this list account because I used to bank with HSBC when I have been contacting them I asked them like last year about opening a lisa account and they say they don't offer lisa accounts so it's not every bank that offers this um uh, lisa account thing so i'm just gonna go to this hardware landstone lands down let me not rise my tongue i mean the information i got is just that i didn't have enough time with this patient because i mean this guy these are people that invest like crazy. They were already telling me how they're investing for their children, like 50 pounds every week. I say, Baba, you'll be rich man now. So, Hargreaves. Uh, I don't with that Hargreaves. Hargreaves. I'm not going to be logging into my account, so I will be showing you the child. Hey, child, I'll be showing you how to create an account with these people. Yeah, I hope this video doesn't end up being way too long. Like, hey, I beg you. Cash bonus, yeah, they're also doing this cash ISA where you get like 100 uh, pound um, bonus if you save like 10,000 between now and 3rd of May. So, so this is their website. So please, please. So I'm going to say open. They also, you know, send the information every week about, um you know, about investing and all that. But, you know, this is not what I'm here for. So before opening an account, they, these are the information they're going to give you. And so you should be able to, you should be comfortable choosing your own investment, confident, making long-term decisions, free from significant debt other than mortgage, clear on charges and tax, over the age of 18, UK residents for tax purposes. Um, so what you need to know, what, yeah, so you need, so looking at it, I'm just gonna show you the information you require. I won't be opening any account with these people because obviously it's going to detect that I've, I've already, I already have an account with them. So um, it will be, and me just showing you the basics of what to do, and then you can open this account. So you'll be needing your national insurance number and your debit card details if you'd like to open your ISA with cash. The minimum amount is hundred pounds. Now I didn't open with any debit card details. What I do every every each time I have extra money to put in is I log into my account, use my debit card, and make. The deposit okay i'm coming and then your see can you show the door your bank details if you like to set up monthly payments no i didn't set up this monthly payments because um it, it, like i said i log in each time so open your isa so i mean 
investment choice, open your eyes, uh, investment choice. So, you know, you, you, yeah, that's where you fill out all this information. Yeah. This is it, where you hear about us and all that. And then open an ISA. So I won't be opening um, this because if, if once I put in my national insurance number, it's going to flag me up. Uh, but I think I'm just going to log into my account just to give you a quick view of what it currently is. So that's a UK, non-UK, multiple nationalities and all that, national insurance number. And, you know, these are all the information that you need. Um, now here they're saying add money, add cash now and set up monthly payments. Add cash, you can add more cash later, all this. I mean, the minimum amount you need to open this account is, thank you, Bobo is £100. So moving up here, when you fill out all this information, they're going to ask you to download their app. Okay. They're going to ask you to download your app. Um, their app, I mean. Sorry. So, so after you've done this, uh, I'm just going to log into my account just to show you guys my username. This, this thing never remembers my username. Wow, I can't even remember what my username is. So I'm not going to do this. I'm just going to, I thought this should be automatic. Really. Um, I can't even, I saved it somewhere, but I can't even remember because I use the app most of the time, except when I want to, um, you know, top up my account. That's when I only log in from there. Um, that's the only time I log in on the laptop. So I'm just going to show you. Yeah, let me enlarge my video now. Stop sharing. I'm just going to stop sharing my video so you can see what I'm talking about. You've seen everything you need to open this account. And then, um, you know, this account gets opened automatically. In fact, I got contacted when I did open it because my name seemed to be a little bit different. I'm just going to stop share. Stop sharing and bring my face up again. So this is me. So I've got the app there. Um, I don't know if you can see it. How do I? However, I don't know what you can see, but yeah, that's HL there. So I've got the app there. I'm just going to log in with my face ID. So that is it. So, so this is my lifetime ISA account. It's showing like 5,000 on there. But I've only got, I only managed to save up to 4,000. Yeah. And I'm just going to show you the messages, you know. I started this account on the 31st of January. Um, so the first message was, you know, hello, thank you for investing. This is a social taxi. And they give me to add detail video. If you talk with your account online, I'm so sorry for you. Don't be sure. So, you know, as I open this account, you know, they give you all the information you filled out, which I'm, I'm not just going to show. And... You know, you keep earning as you like. I've got like I received um bonus, my first bonus on the sixth of February. I received the second bonus on twenty seven. Received the third bonus on the twenty seventh of March. Received the third bonus on the twenty seventh of April. 
And if you have any question, I mean, these people are really, really great. Once you send a message through the app to them, they, most times I do send my message in the middle of the night, they will reply you the next day. You know, there was a point I was asking, okay, buying a house, in response to your query, I asked them, what if I've saved up enough money for my deposit and I want to withdraw that money before I'm even one day in there? Oh, I need to charge my laptop and they answered me and said as the last as the last time i needs to be open for one full calendar year before you're able to make a listed withdrawal for a first time house purchase you will need to wait until after this date has been reached before the withdrawal can be made yeah Please know that when making an unlisted withdrawal, that is withdrawing before you go in there, the 25% government charge will be applied to any amount withdrawn. Okay? So that is... That's what... Yeah. So, you know, this is the advice and the reply they gave me. It's not that you cannot withdraw, but then at the end of the day, you, might, you get charged um 25 percent of what is in your account and that's why i said if you you know you have okay now uh, if you have like um if you haven't waited for one year okay let's say just a quick one now in conclusion so let's say um like a new year has started and let's say by october or december of this year i've managed to save up another four thousand pounds that is me having an, another one thousand again even before the year ends even before the year ends that is me having ten thousand pounds before the year ends excuse me can you go out can you go out and shut the door so i did that means i didn't even need to wait for april end of the year you know to get this bonus so all I need to do is save it up before the 5th of April. And then my account will also be hitting. Uh, I'm using the lights now. Shut the door. Mm, I shut that door very well. So what it means is if my account, oh, I've lost my thought. Uh, so basically what it means is you know, I don't even wait. I don't even need to wait for a new year to finish before I get this two thousand because I've saved this amount up. I'll get my amount once my account is hitting one year. I'm withdrawing the money even before the year runs out because I've got all my benefits for that year and I'm withdrawing the money and you know using it for my first house purchase. But remember, you won't be paid back directly into your account. And that is the fantastic thing about this account. It's, it's, it's not, you know, nobody will be paying, you know, into your personal account, I believe. Uh, I believe, you know, and before you even withdraw, you know, it's not like the money you put for an emergency. Because the withdrawal process is not even just like that. You know, it's a long process. So whatever amount you've put here is like safe for you to buy a house. So, I mean, it's really, I mean, there may be other companies offering Lisa accounts for first time buyers. I don't know about them. There may be some other banks, but if you're not comfortable with this one, I mean, this is not an advert for this company at all. This is not an advert for this company, but it's just information I feel that you should know about. And they are really good each time I ask them questions. I mean, they within 24 hours, I get a reply. So there are other companies, you might want to check them out, browse about them, banks and banks that do this, I'm not sure. Uh, and then, you know, you know, understand their process and you can open with them. Okay, but the most important thing is you're making that effort to buy a house. And you started, it doesn't matter where you started, doesn't matter, you can start with hundred pounds. It's not a competition. I mean, there are people who were born here, they never buy a house, and these are working class people, the real owners of England. 
the British themselves, they are still managing, they're still struggling. So don't even, it's not a competition. But remember, if you haven't, if you're approaching 40, you need to open this account quickly to get the maximum benefits. It doesn't matter if you're moving to US or you're moving to Canada, open this account while you're still, um, you know, do, undergoing the process. Okay, so I hope this video have been of good value to you. If you have any questions at all that you want me to ask this company, I can always reach out to them through the app and then give you a reply of you know the question, you know, what they told me. So hopefully you start making that effort of planning towards getting your first home in England. Yay! Um so, um, like I said again, my name is Lillian, and this is my page, Nenora. I post about everything. I post about my life, food, um, nursing in the UK, everything when I get a chance. I try to juggle up everything. So, if you do like there are some other videos I've made, like how to register with NMC UK, how to renew your Nigerian passport in the UK, and so many of the other videos, please click the subscribe button so that each time I post a new video, you will be alerted. Thank you so much to my new followers. I do appreciate. Bye.